Hello, Math 186 students. This is your instructor, Mrs. Thomas. And today I'm going to be doing our last chapter, chapter 15 um, on solutions and drug reconstitution. Okay, so let's get started. For number one, I know um, some students may be afraid of word problems, but once you um, dissect each piece by piece, you'll find out that it is extremely um, easy once you kind of problem solve. Number one says the physician ordered four milligrams PO of an oral solution that is available as two milligrams per 10 milliliter in a 30 milliliter multi-dose container. The nurse will prepare to give how many milliliters? Okay, so let's start off with our proportion method. Okay. And here, the information that we have been given is, I will start here first with the two milligrams per 10 milliliter, okay, 20 milligram per 10 milliliter, and the four milligrams, so I'm matching units to units, unless you're trying to do dimensional analysis. But most students, um, when you're putting the one right here, that's actually incorrect, it needs to be a variable. Next, we're gonna cross multiply two milligrams times X. So when you show your work, don't just write the number two, but you need to write the milligram and the X, okay? Write your units. Four times 10 is 40, okay? Milligrams times milliliter. Make sure you bring everything down. I want to isolate the variable, so I'm gonna divide both sides by two milligrams on both sides. That will cancel my units, the milligrams. And 40 divided by 2 is 20 milliliters. 20 milliliters. Okay, let's go to number 2. A physician ordered 300 milligrams of an antibiotic or suspension that provided 200 milligrams per 5 milliliter when reconstituted. Direction for mixing, add 160 milliliters of sterile water and shape vigorously to provide 200 milliliters of solution. The nurse will prepare how many milliliters to give. Okay, so let's first start off with the information that we have been given, okay? So let's start right here. So here there'll be 200 milligrams over five milliliters, setting up my proportion method. And then that will be, go back to the problem, okay? Which is 300, that's what was ordered. So I'm matching units to units over X. Okay, so far so good, all right? So next we're gonna cross multiply. Remember, always show all of your steps. Don't just put the 200 without the X, without the milligrams, okay? You wanna put 200 milligrams times X, okay? And 300 times five is 1,500 milligrams at times milliliter, okay? We wanna divide, we want to isolate the variable. So we're gonna divide both sides by 200 milligrams. Those will cancel out. And when you do 1,500 divided by 200, it will give you 7.5 milliliters. I'm gonna get my calculator. I had to, I had to reach for the calculator, y'all. Okay, 7.5 milliliters. Okay, so not too bad. Okay, let's go to number three. I'm gonna pinch it out so you can see it. I'm sure you can zoom it in with your phone. Okay. For number three, it says a patient was to receive 500 milligrams of a medication that is available as a powder for oral suspension. Directions for reconstitution require tapping the bottle to loosen the powder, adding half of the 63 milliliters of sterile water, shaking the bottle to mix, and then adding the remaining water to complete the suspension of 100 milliliters. When reconstituted, the volume concentration will yield 250 milligrams per milliliter. The nurse will prepare how many milliliters to give. Okay, so no worries. Let it start off by what we are given. 250 milligrams per five milliliter. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to go back to the directions, go back to the problem. Because some information you may not necessarily need in order to find your solution. So here we're going to cross multiply. So 250 milligrams times X. 
and 500 times 5 is 2,500, okay, milligrams times milliliters. I know many of you are leaving out those units, and in nursing, it is so important. Make sure your units are right there in front. All right, divide both sides by 250 milligrams, and you want to show me that you are canceling it out, okay? And then 2,500 divided by... 250 milligrams will give me 10 milliliters. Okay, I think y'all can get this. I know you can. Okay, number four, the physician ordered 250 milligrams of an antibiotic that is available as a powder for oral suspension. Directions for reconstitution require tapping the bottle to loosen the powder, adding five milliliters of sterile water, and shaking vigorously to mix contents. When reconstituted, each five milliliter will contain 125 milligrams of the, of the antibiotic. The nurse will prepare how many milliliters to give. Okay, again, let me go and see exactly what the direction is giving the information that I've been given. Okay, so let's start here. 125 milligrams per five milliliter. Okay, it's all part of that same sentence. And then from what I am given, I'm going back up to what was ordered, 250 milligrams over X. I want to cross multiply here. So this will be 125 milligrams times X equals 250 times five. Okay, gives me 1250, 1250. Let me write it right here so you can see it clearly. 1250 milligrams times milliliter. All right, I just took this over here and I just wrote it over here so you'll be able to see it good and clear. Divide both sides by 125 milligrams. 125 milligrams. Cancel out. And so what you're dividing is 1250 divided by 125 milligrams that gives you a 10 okay gives you 10 okay that's it okay let's try another one not finish it okay um, a patient was to receive one gram of an antibiotic iv every eight hours the antibiotic was available as a powder directions for reconstitution require adding 2.5 milliliters of sterile water and shaking vigorously Yielding a solution of 300 mil 330 milligrams per one milliliter, okay? To get one gram, the nurse will prepare how many milliliters? Well, first, you have to uh, convert this one gram into milligram. So I want you to look in your book, okay? And the more you know that one gram equals 1,000 milligrams, you'll have it down pat because it's something that you would use all the time in, the, in your, your field of study, Okay, so one gram equals 1,000 milligrams always. Okay, so my next step is, now I'm going to go to what I have been given. So here, I know that 330 milligrams per, if you don't see a number, we talked about this in class, the number is one, so one milliliter. And now we've converted, so now we, we're, we can match the units to units because we know that one gram is equivalent to 1,000 milligrams over X. Okay. So here I want you to cross multiply. When I say show your work, I want you to do 330 milligrams times X. And then multiply 1,000 times 1 is still 1,000. But bring over all of your units, the milligrams and the milliliters. So I can see that you canceled it out. Next, I want you to divide both sides by 330 milligrams because we want to isolate the variable that is so important. Okay. So you're going to divide, you're going to do 1,000 divided by 330. Okay. All right, which is three milliliters. Okay. X equals three milliliters. Okay. So when you show your work, I want you to show your work in that manner, please. Okay. All right, y'all, I am looking to see. All right, y'all, be bear with me. Just let me do just one more, please. The physician ordered 200 milligrams of an antibiotic every six hours. The medication was available as a powder. 
Directions for reconstitution requires adding 4.8 milliliters of sterile water, yielding a solution equal to 100 milligrams per milliliter. The nurse will prepare how many milliliters per dose. So we're gonna take what we were given. So we'll start here. So that will be 100 milligrams, all right? And this is a one, an understood one that we've talked about already, okay? And then we're gonna go to what the doctor ordered, which was 200 milligrams over X. So don't put over one, like I've been seeing on a lot of papers. All right, so you wanna cross multiply here. So 100 milligrams times X, 200 times one is 200 milligrams times milliliter. All right, this is what I mean when I want you to show your work. Divide both sides by 100 milligrams because we want to isolate the variable. Okay, and then here, 200 divided by 100 will give you two milliliters, all right? Two milliliters. So not too bad. I know that you guys can, I know you can do it, okay? And the units are similar on number seven as well. I'm looking to see, is there anything that is different um, here? But I do not see anything different, and I know that it's hard to listen after 15 minutes. Um, and so I will stop the video here and I'll do a part two um, because I have a a, a meeting right at 3.30. So um, I won't be out of the meeting until about 4.30. Have a good day, students.